All about the good times today on Go. We've got Nintendo art, the Giants fan experience, and these guys. <laughs> they have this amazing ability Coming to up. open up to the audience. And goofy good times. Welcome to Go Vancouver, only on Sha TV. I'm Joe Hannah Ward. TV people, we consider ourselves to be storytellers and yarn spinners, but there is nothing more intimate, both touching and funny, than eavesdropping on a conversation between two best friends. And that's exactly what you get with Vancouver's Nate and Troy. So we have a spotlight on their latest show with Shift Theatre, The Next Big Things. Thirteen years of technically knowing each other and about five years of our hetero life mate relationship. They are BFF romance buddies. Their proverbial man crush also fueling a professional theatrical career. They have this amazing ability to open up to the audience. You can feel like you're part of their world. So you step into the Nate and Troy world with them. The space at Carousel Theatre helps foster the intimacy. Two chairs minus a stage with two guys maxing on stories. Preacher, it comes to life and it The next big things, that's you guys, so there's no ego involved in this at all, this show. No. <laughs> no. The name actually comes, because uh, originally we had done a show called Nate and Troy Explain the Little Things. Where I played an old man, because I was one, uh, and Nate played a young boy. Because I was, was one. <laughs> So what comes after the little things? And he's like, I don't know, the big things? And he's like, well, so well, the next bit, the next, next big things! And we're like, yeah! yeah! Everything works out nicely for me. Everything kind of like ties itself together. And that's one of the key differences between Troy and I, is that when things go well, the things like big things that'll be happening in our lives, big things happening in, in you know, people around us, kind of thing, whatever. And it's not the fact that we have huge egos. We have those too. Nate and Troy, The Next Big Things debuted last June at Shift Theatre's One Act Festival. The positive reviews prompted a return of the show. Come get your friend, he's peeing on himself! <laughs> We've been working with Nate and Troy in a variety of different contexts for the last six-ish years. Um, and as a, as a group, they're, they're inseparable. And it's that chemistry that makes this show so magical. I love Nate's commitment to things. And I just... <laughs> A lot of terrible things happen to Nate as a, and uh, but he's so amazing about that. I mean, he just lives his life. Uh, what I love about Troy is always been his truth. Yes, the musical cats. This 200-pound frame has been crammed into spandex. Come out, and I do my little introduction. I sing my first bar, and it goes great. And then the rest of the cats go ah, uh, and I go. The line is gone. Roxanne. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's, you can sing. There it was. It's just, yeah. If the cat story is just the wrong song, maybe. It is. I just, just didn't know the words. And now you're just blocked and you won't do it, even though you have that good time. We'll sing more police know. moving forward. That's one of the unique things about this as a storytelling show. They play off each other and the audience, so no two shows will ever be the same. Is there a lot of singing or dancing in it, or it's really more... I try to integrate as much as I can. Yes. Now, I've been asked to stop by okay, most yeah. of the people who <laughs> Majority of the audience yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that interactive audience element. They're right. like, oh, right. yes and no. Okay, like, this yeah. isn't our favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I'm just sitting there, just spasming. And you have to lay there still until people come and find the dead body. Something I've always struggled with about this show is why do we do it? And what exactly will you hear? A mix of deep heart reveal, kitchen party comedy, and the mundane made interesting when told in tandem. It's getting that, that truth and that experience out there to people, I mean, allowing them to take part in it a little bit. It opens up the conversation for the audience, um, and that way they can start to share these moments with their friends and family too, which is pretty cool. Nate and Troy, the next big things. It's showing here at Granville Island's Carousel Theatre, January 25th and 26th, and also on February 1st. And we've got tickets to that show coming up. Welcome back to Go Vancouver. Do I look uncomfortable right now? Because I feel a little nervous. <laughs> it's okay, shake uh, it up. Yeah. Shake up. Okay, we're back with Nate and Troy. Earlier we got to see their next big things. Now I'm going to try my little thing with this uh, improv 101, or I like to say the improv. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Okay, we're gonna play a game. Yes? Cool. Yes. Uh, we're gonna play a game called Questions Only. Uh, to start, can Mr. Cameraman, can we please get a non-geographical location? Far on Grand Island. 
The barn on Granville Island. Island. Okay. I'm barn. glad you picked a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yay. bar. I thought there was an N on the end. <laughs> There's a barn here? What? <sighs> All right, so. In this scene, what you'll have is two, two people, having seen the last questions. If one of us fails to ask a question, that means that the statement is dead. The other person will actually trade in for that person. So let's start between you and I. Care for a drink? What kind of drink? Do you have any rum? Do you like rum? Ah! Oh, go. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> um, what style of rum would you like? Do you come here often? <laughs> no. Eh. <laughs> that drink yours? <laughs> it's okay. All I could think of was yes. Exactly. Okay. Um, all right. Eh, I'm out. Okay. Would you like another? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> what kind of drink would you like? Do you have anything green? Mm, do you like creme de menthe or do you like bold? Are those the only options? So look, I have like I have more options than that. Are you hiding anything? Let me check <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Are they awesome? <laughs> yes. Great job, you guys. Okay. Thank you. It was way less scary once I buzzed out. <laughs> they went easy on me, hey? Well, if you want to see the boys do what the boys do best, you can check out Nate and Troy, the next big things, here at Granville Island for the next two weekends, and we will be giving away a pair of tickets at the end of today's show. Also, how could you forget Nate and Troy, the next big thing? It is showing here at the Carousel Theater on Granville Island, January 25th, 26th, and February 1st, and thank you guys for giving us one pair of tickets to give away for the February 1st show. Should we have some fun with this? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You know we want to. Okay, so go to our Facebook page, find a photo of the three of us, and then you have to come up with a kooky caption. Example of a photo and kooky caption. Karate! Okay, like. Superhero! Oh, you know, that's my favorite one. So check out our Facebook page. Good luck to you. I'm Johanna. I'm Nate. And I'm Troy. Thanks for watching. Woo! Mm -hmm. comes on stage with gloves, and he just picks the thing up whilst on fire and runs it off stage. So I turn around to grab this.